much fun to be a part of busy town. Oh, oh. Keep your spirits soaring while we're exploring our busy world. The busy world of Richard Scary. I just know our boat is gonna win the race today. I hope it floats. Don't worry, Loli. Now that she's painted, she'll float like a cork. Wow, I bet we have the prettiest boat in Busy Town. You'll see a lot of snappy boats today, Huckle. Everyone's getting ready for the big race. Hi! Voila! Good morning, Hilda. And good luck at the race. <laughs> I should have asked the Coast Guard to direct busy town traffic today. is the busy town regatta. Oh, how I love a boat race. Won't we look smashing? Whoa! Oh, dear. Oh, well. Do you need a ta ta Do you have to Good morning, boat. Oh! <coughs> Fine wind today. Ah, I do love a sea breeze. Oh. oh. Hello, Mr. Frumble. Better hurry. Don't want to miss the race. I'm off to Busy Bay. Morning, Mr. Frumble. My, Mr. Frumble certainly is in a festive mood today. <laughs> Anchors away. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Frumble. All set for the race. Eight bells and all's well, Mr. Cat. Would you like a hand with your boat? Oh, no, thank you. I'm a born sailor. Prepare to jive. Well, shiver me timbers. Okay, skippers, is everyone set to go? Starting time, two minutes. 
there's Hilda, Lowly and Huckle, and Mr. Frumble. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. And they're up! Ah. Hey, watch out! Watch where you're going, Mr. Frumble! Ah. No, no, the port side! Ah. Uh, Mr. Frumble! must have learned how to sail on a destroyer. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, did all of you have boat trouble too? April Rhinos rescued Mr. Frumble and everyone else. Huckle and Lowly are approaching the finish line. You two sailors. Thanks, Mom. Here comes Mr. Frumble. Mr. Frumble had something to do with it. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Imagine that. Gee, I wonder what it's like on the moon. It's not like Busy Town. It's not? The moon is smaller than the earth in size It floats around the earth in the sky The moon's mostly rock with mountains tall And valleys called seas but no water at all The craters on the moon are big holes in the ground Made by rocks called meteors crashing down Imagine what it's like on the moon Not much on the moon, no water or air Without them nothing can live or grow there Without much gravity to hold you down You can leap far and high when you jump around Imagine what it's like on the moon On the moon, on the moon Just imagine the moon Well, I wish we could go up there and bounce around Why? We can bounce right here Austria, the land of beautiful music. From Mozart to yodeling. Yodeling! To clocks. This story is about Stumpa, who heard music everywhere and could make music with anything. Beautiful notes. Beautiful. Stumpa, you promised to clean up this mess. What a lovely echo, Oompa. Your voice never sounded better. You can clean up later. We are already late for our audition with Herr Musikmeister. Late? Oh dear, I must have lost track of the time. That's because you lost track of your clock. You see what trouble a house full of junk causes? This is not junk, Oompa. These are musical instruments. Look! See? Each box is a different note. That is lovely, Stumpa. But Herr Musikmeister will never let us into the town band if we are late for our audition. Sehr gut. Sehr gut. Lovely. What is that terrible noise? Guten Tag! Good morning, Herr Musikmeister. I hope we are not late. You are both very late and very noisy. Oh, that is just my wagon. 
<laughs> I love the clickety-clack of its little wheels. Listen. And we have come to show you what wonderful music we can make. Play for him, Oompa. I have already finished my auditions for today. It is too late. But Herr Musikmeister. I want only band members who are on time and who can tell musical sounds from noise. We can make beautiful music. Let us play for you. May I borrow this? Stumpa! Did you hear the sound the music stands made? Just like thunder. Wasn't it wonderful? No, it was noise. Out! Go away! Come, Stumpa. I do not think her music meister wants us in his band. Um, if you don't need another tuba and trumpet player, we play many other things. Glasses, uh, bowls, tin cans, wooden shoes. Noise! You make noise! Ah, oh, Wumpa, we will never get in the band now. Do not worry, Stumpa. Wumpa, you are right. We will make so much music, Herr Musikmeister will not be able to ignore us. Just the two of us? But we only have two instruments, Stumpa. Nein, nein. I have an idea. We will make more music than an orchestra. Herr Musikmeister will beg us to be in his band. You will see. Oompa, look at these wonderful steins. Steins are too big. Stumpa, please, no. The house is messy enough. But these are just what I need. Old drinking steins. Junk! Just more junk. Whatever are you going to do with all this junk? You will see, Oompa. You will see. Pipes! And for my wind section... Winds! Mess. Aha! The perfect thing to make a string section. Strings! I don't suppose you collected a vacuum cleaner or a dust mop by any chance? Percussion! Well, Oompa, what do you say? What is it? My music machine. What does it play? Everything. Listen. Hmm. A moment. Something is missing. Fuss. Mess. Jump. Always. Mess. Whoops. Where is that tuba? At last. Oompa, I found the tuba. Come. Where could he have gone? Oompa? Or maybe he went to tell Herr Musikmeister about our music machine. Herr Musikmeister, me? I want to show you my music machine. Silence, Peter, please. But, Herr Musikmeister, just listen to this. Oompa! <laughs> 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 there you are! What a grand entrance you made! We can be in the band now, Herr Musikmeister. No. But Herr Musikmeister, why not? Because you don't need to be in my band, Stumpa. You have made your own band, and everyone loves it. See? <laughs> and so every day, Stumpa plays his music machine for happy crowds with the help of his assistant. And Oompa never complained about Stumpa's mess again. Whoa! Play it safe. If there was an emergency at your house, would you know what to do, Huckle?
If you're at home and there's an emergency, stay calm, don't panic, it's a safe way to be. If it's smoke you smell or fire you see, get out of the house immediately. Run to the nearest phone, dial 911 or the operator zero. Phone 911 or zero. Say your name, where you are, and what is wrong. Don't hang up till a fire truck comes along. If someone is hurt or something seems wrong, 911 or zero is a number to phone. 911 or zero. Say your name, where you are, and what is wrong. Don't hang up till the police or ambulance comes along. 911 or zero. Phone 911 or zero. If I needed help, would you know what to do, Sally? Sure. Stay calm, dial 911, say who I am, where I am, and what's wrong. This is gonna be the best soapbox racer ever! What should we use for a steering wheel? How about one of the wagon wheels? Or maybe that hubcap. Here's another seat. Sorry, Sally. We just put the seats in and there's not enough room for three. You mechanics had better hurry if you're going to be ready for the race this afternoon. You bet, Dad. We're almost finished. Maybe we could use these streamers to decorate it. Thanks, Sally. But we were just going to paint it green. Oh. What number's your racer? 17. Can I paint it on for you? Not now, Sally. We have to take it on a test drive first. Can I come along and watch? Emergency brake. Check. Check. Ah! Oh, no! There's a... Are you boys okay? We're okay. But our racer is ruined. Can't you fix it? No, it took us a week to build it. And we're out of spare parts. It's too bad, boys. But don't worry, there'll be another soapbox derby next year. Having problems with your soapbox racer, I see. It's not mine. It's Huckle and Lowly's, but it's broken. <laughs> oh, it's not that broken. You mean you can fix it? Uh, uh, nope. Busy Town Soapbox Rule Number One: Only kids can build the racers. Oh. Do you want to try? Wow, me? Sure. Looks pretty broken to me. I think you'll find everything you need here. Can I do it all by myself? Yep, but you'll have to hurry. The race starts in just a few hours. I'll be outside if you need me. the derby. I don't think I want to watch. Maybe someone will need a co-driver. Isn't Sally coming? Mr. Fixit called to say that Sally is playing over at his shop. We did, until we hit a bump. And crashed for good. There, Sally. It's a racer! 
Eraser! Wow, Sally, did you do this? It was no big deal. A couple of wheels, a little paint. And three seats. So the three of us can race together. You mean we can come with you? Sure. Gee, thanks, Sally. Are you sure you can handle the wheel? You bet. We're going to beat everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, the Busy Town Soapbox Derby is about to begin. On your marks, get set, go! I like the streamers, Sally. Here comes Bananas. And they're rounding the first turn. This is going to be a tight turn. Whoa! That was pretty tight, all right. Quite a racer you boys built. You mean that Sally built? And she's quite a driver, too. Maybe next year we can build a racer together. Okay, but I get to drive. You bet. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> 